Kirby games are guaranteed to have the following. Candy-coated platforming levels, a cheerful pink mascot, and numerous power-ups to wield and combine. These are all key pieces of Kirby Star Allies, a mostly traditional Kirby game designed with co-op in mind, be it with three AI or player-driven cohorts. You've been able to team up in previous games like Kirby Return to Dreamland on Wii, but it's fundamental to Star Allies, and far more flexible in practice. Rather than being limited to only playing alongside key characters like Meta Knight or King DDD, you can now recruit almost any enemy you come across. And after you unlock a pair of extra modes upon completing the story, you earn the right to play as any character in the game, albeit in a mini speedrun mode. It's not a massive sea change given that enemies play the same as Kirby does when he's absorbed their powers, but for a game built around its variety of personalities, it's an appreciated bonus. Star Allies perfectly executes its playful cartoon aesthetic from start to finish, stuffed with adorable animations and digital glitter. Now that you can borrow powers from your allies or team up in specific scenarios, say when you have a chef power-up and pretend to cook your friends in a pot to produce life-giving snacks, a charismatic moment is never more than a button press away. And being able to share powers or take control of an alternate set of skills makes Kirby feel like a more capable hero overall, even if he doesn't really need the help. The story mode paces itself remarkably well, too, in part because it's so short. Procession of new ideas from one stage to the next keeps you wondering what clever platforming obstacle or power-up lies in wait. These surprises may force your team to split up to tackle simple, large-scale puzzles, a feat the AI handles effortlessly without your input. You also occasionally group together to roll downhill as a wall-smashing wheel, hop on the back of a flying star for some casual side-scrolling shooter action, or line up to form a train and steamroll through enemies. Reaching the end of a level or world is generally very easy. The only real challenge in each level is to locate hidden items, puzzle pieces that are used to complete pictures, not unlike the 3DS Street Pass game, Puzzle Swap. Each stage has a unique pink piece, though you can regularly find randomized blue pieces too, or tap amiibo to generate them on the fly. The pictures you unlock are just that, pictures, which is a little deflating as far as rewards go. But rare levels containing hidden rooms with a switch that unlocks a new stage in the overworld lie in wait. You're told when a stage contains a hidden opportunity, so the challenge is to simply keep an eye out for a suspicious looking object or a door during your travels. On some occasions, an obstacle or object requires you to interact while using a specific ability, such as electrifying a power line or igniting a pile of leaves. Never one to make you suffer though, enemies with the relevant power-ups are generally placed nearby so you won't feel regret for potentially being unprepared. Strolling through the story mode ensures a generous amount of expertly crafted whimsy and joy. But because levels are so easygoing, with lightweight platforming and a trio of friends watching your back at all times, Star Allies' campaign quickly runs out of steam. It's almost a good problem to have, a game that's so good that you don't want it to end. But it's tough to shake the disappointment when you cross the finish line. The unlockable extra modes, then, are the game's saving grace. Never mind the wood-chopping and meteor-batting minigames, which are cute but undeniably shallow. The boss rush and speedrun modes are the main attractions. For the speedrun mode Guest Star, you charge through five sets of levels as the Star Allies character of your choosing. These are some of the same stages you've played before, but the further you get, the faster, stronger, and more resilient you become. Your gradual growth, robust set of actions per character, and the race against time inject Star Allies with the energy to match its overflowing personality. And to account for the lack of difficulty elsewhere, the boss rush mode, dubbed the ultimate choice, can be dialed up to unforgiving levels, where enemies hit harder, health replenishments are in shorter supply, and more bosses line up to battle. Both this and the speedrun mode can be enjoyed with a total of four players, which feels more beneficial compared to the pushover story mode. Star Allies is yet another great Kirby game. It's an artistic showcase and a great opportunity for both relaxing and challenging co-op platforming. The only real complaint you can levy at it is that it gates off its more challenging aspects, but the fact that they are present to begin with will please anyone who's grown weary of the series' painless platforming.